Hey guys, in this video, we are going to focus on how can you create a data entry app with Excel integration. For example, here is the app that I have created and I have entered some data. I am going to hit on submit. It gave me a message box stating data has been submitted. Now, if you look at my Excel file, the data that we have entered in the app has been saved to Excel file. So let's see how this Excel integration can be done. In this video, we have seen if a text box, if the data is not been entered or if it is left blank, how to get a warning message with the help of the message box module from Tkinter. Let me run this code so that we can recap what we have learned. For example, if I enter one name and I'm going to hit on submit, it gives me a warning message saying fields left blank. Okay. Now only when you submit everything, then it will say data submitted. So this much we have learned from this previous video. Now our focus is how can I write it to an Excel file? So this is my Excel file. Okay. So I'm going to save it and I'm going to close it. Before that, before I close, just remember what is the sheet name where we would like to write the data. So we would like to write the data into the registration sheet. Okay. So let's go to PyCharm and let's create something. So now anytime you have to write into the Excel, then you'll be using a library called OpenPyExcel. Okay. And from OpenPyExcel, I have to use a module. So I will say from OpenPyExcel is the library name. Import the module name, which is load workbook. All right. So now after this tkinter.tk inside somewhere I'm going to write it. I'm going to create a variable called a equals to and then I'm using the library name called openpyexcel. You can also directly write it and then I can say load workbook. Okay. Now in this one I have to load the workbook. So do you know where is the file path? I mean what is the file path of the excel file? So I'm creating a variable called file path. And in this variable, I'm going to store the Excel file path. So this is the test file I have. I'm going to hit on the shift key, right click on this file. And here you would have the option copy as path. I'm going to click on that. Go to PyCharm and write a R string and I'm going to paste it. So why do you write the R string? I had explained multiple times. If you know it, please do comment. All right. So I have got the file path variable which is nothing but holding the location of the file. Now here I have created a variable called a.openpyexcel load workbook and here I'm going to pass this file path. That means your entire Excel will get loaded to this variable a. All right. Now we don't want to deal with the entire Excel. We are very particular to deal with a sheet. So I will mention the a which is currently representing the entire Excel file. And out of that, there is a sheet whose name is registration. Okay. So ensure um, the name you type it properly. So registration, let me say with an code registration. Okay. So let me double check so that I did not make any mistake. The name registration and registration. Okay. So looks like it's fine. So now what is this B variable? The V variable is representing my registration sheet only. Getting it? All right. So I have got the B, B variable ready. Now it's time to write it. So where will I write it? Here we are checking if the name, text box, email text box, and the phone text box contain some value or not. If not, it will say fields left blank. Now if the values are there, then I should enter into the Excel file. So how do I enter into the Excel file? I'll use the name B. B contains the sheet. Right, and then I'm going to use a very important method called append. What is it? Append. Append means it's going to add the data, add into the existing data. I mean, let's say in my Excel currently I have one data here, so it is going to add it here in this row. That is the meaning. Okay, now how do I add it? So, because it's append is a function, I'm going to use parenthesis, and inside that I'm going to pass, uh, I'm going to pass the name variable, comma email variable comma phone variable there are three data so i'm passing all these three variables now remember when you are dealing with the excel load workbook 
because load workbook means temporarily it is going to hold it in the memory okay so i have to save it once the data is written i need to save it so for that i will be using the excel variable a a contains the entire excel right you don't save a particular sheet rather you save it on the excel file right so it will act on the a variable which is holding our entire excel file so i'm going to say a dot save there is a method called a dot save and the name i want to keep it in the same location right so i'm mentioning the file path variable simple now just by doing it it's going to write into the excel now this is the time before you run the code your excel should be closed okay so i'm going to save it and i'm going to close the excel file as the excel file is now closed let me run this specific code so the app has opened on my screen now i'm going to make some entry let's say i'm going to say deepak kumar and i'm going to enter deepak at the rate test 123.com and i'm going to enter some phone number let's say 7894561234 some you know test numbers i'm entering and i'm going to hit on submit the moment it has done the job it has prompted me data has been submitted great now let's go to the excel and see if the data has been written or not i have opened the excel file and you can see the entry that we have made has been registered into the excel file so great so we have imported the openpy excel load workbook and then using the load workbook we have opened the file path and kept it in a variable and we have very particular about the particular sheet we would like to read we have kept it another variable and then we have done a b dot append this is important okay how to write it and finally we save the file that's all that's the logic behind the scene so thank you guys for watching we are going to meet once again in our next content please do give it a like and once you have done with the exercise please do comment that done you are done you know just mention done so that i understand you have completed the exercise please do give it a like and subscribe to the channel we are going to meet once again in our next content till then take care bye bye